Hey, welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken, and today's exper experiment is intermolecular forces, right? So basically, I've got a newspaper strip I cut. It's about two inches uh, wide and the full length of the paper. Um, and it's just one complete piece, and I got a pair of scissors. So basically, I'm going to put my finger here, and I'm going to loop it up, and then to make sure it's even all the way down, right here, and then I'm going to cut it and you make a prediction on how many pieces it will be when I let go of it. So I cut it and I let go and it's still one piece, which is pretty crazy, right? Because you saw me cut it. So once again, put it together, make sure it's straight and even, cut it again and prediction, it's still one piece. This is really a cool and fun and easy experiment. Also and known as a science trick. But let's make a prediction this time. Instead of cutting it straight, what happens if I cut it at an angle? It kind of goes off to the side. So it still has the forces, right? So here it is, it's still there. You bring it back up one more time. You don't like the angle, you wanna go back straight. You go, let go, and you still have one piece. So I'm gonna explain how to do it and the science behind it next what you need for this experiment is scissors uh, rubber cement uh, it don't matter what kind i used elmer's baby powder and some newspaper which is uh, two inches in length or width and about five centimeters so once you cut your newspaper out um, five centimeters or two inches in width and the full paper take your um rubber cement and you're just going to do a thin coat starting at about two inches from the uh, from the top and bottom um, all the way down the inside of the newspaper so only one side you're doing this on it does not have to be a thick coat um, just a regular coat all the way down um, i add in a little bit extra here but see i don't go all the way to the ends um, and so you do all the just coat this so there's no big wet spots so it's all evenly paste all the way across. So once the rubber cement is completely dry, then you take your baby powder and lightly sprinkle it over the side that has the rubber cement on it, but it has to be dry before you do this. You can see here it's lightly uh, sprinkled over it with the baby powder. Just kind of rub it off, shake it so it's not noticeable, and then you're ready to go. So the science behind this is the rubber cement is going to bond with those intermolecular forces. So when I cut the pieces of paper, even though it's smooth on the back end from the baby powder, it still has that rubber cement in there. So it doesn't stick to your hand and it doesn't stick, but when the scissors squeeze it together, that section of the newspaper right where it's cut, no matter if it's straight or angled, is going to have the um, rubber cement stick together. And when you release the paper, it'll always stick together. So unless you go too high. So even here, when I didn't cut it completely right, you let it go and it still angles off to the side. So it's pretty cool. I put a little bit more in the description. Um, and please let me know if you like this uh, experiment by clicking thumbs up. And please subscribe. It does help my channel. Thank you very much for watching.